Good day. It's Pastor Weaver again. Want to um, give you a little something. I want to encourage somebody who might be struggling a little bit, um, dealing with um, actually challenges uh, with finances. You might be uh, financially in a tight or matter of fact, you might have abundance even and uh, you're saving as you're at home and uh, expenses are down and stuff because you're not eating out as much, but you know, you're buying groceries and preparing meals and other things. Or, uh, so um, I wanted to share with you uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 6 through verse number uh, 8. And it, it, it teaches about how we give and the heart we give with. It says here, remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. So you must decide in your heart how much to give and don't give reluctantly in response to pressure. For God loves a cheerful, loves a person who gives cheerfully and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything, everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Now, the point here is that a lot of times we're trying to make things happen in our own strength and with our own intellect and the, the way we believe. If I hold back this, I could do this with it. If I hold back that, I could do this with it. Or if I do this or, you know, we always try to figure out how we can do things. But God already has a plan. He's entrusted us with uh, resources and that he wants us to give generously where he can give generously to us. So as a result, when you give generously, not just to the church, but give generously to people, period, or are you a generous person? Then God has uh, seized your heart and he's able to give to you more generously because he can trust you as a person who is generous. A lot of times we receive big checks and we don't want to give on those. On little checks, we have no problem. But God's saying, you know, you need to give on everything and you need to be generous in all ways. A lot of times we prayed and asked God, God, if you just deliver me, if you help me in this lawsuit, if you help me with uh, my job, if you give me a raise, if you give me these things. And guess what? God does all that. But then we don't uh, we don't be generous with him. So anyway, I want to encourage you, be generous, be generous to the church, be generous to your family, generous to your children, generous to others. Amen. And God loves a cheerful giver. Keep that in mind. God bless you. Till next time.